All right, so really quickly, I'm going to explain what abstract classes are. Um, so to do this, I'm going to use figure. So we're going to make a public class figure. I can spell correctly. OK. And we're going to say that a figure has some sort of protected int num size. And our constructor for figure is going to pass in a num size. And we'll say by default, when we create a figure, we're going to set this dot num size equal to num size. Now, I'm going to make a public void area. Now I can define something and I can say print out this is area for a figure. But technically, I don't need a area method for a figure because air, like figure is so generic, so why bother? Now I'll explain in a second, but let me just extend figure with rectangle real quick. Sorry, I should have made this class rectangle. By the way, you can't. the reason why you can't have public class rectangle is because the name of your file is figure.java. So when I'm doing class rectangle, it can't be public class rectangle or it's not going to know like, well, do I belong in figure.java or do I belong in rectangle.java? Well, let me continue. So this, um, it has a private int length and width. A rectangle has a int width and an int height. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to super four because it's going to take a number of sides. And it's going to, uh, what do you call it? And I'm going to set this dot length equal to the length and this dot width equal to the width. I can spell width correctly. Equal to the width. Sorry about that. Okay. So length has no, sorry, I meant width and length. Okay, there we go. Why is it giving an error? Object int is undefined. Super figure. Oh, sorry, I didn't extend figure. Extends figure. It's going to extend figure and then we could call super. And I'm gonna make a public void area, which as we know, in order to do area, we must say, we can say triangle area. And in, that's, sorry, I have my mind on something else. Rectangle area. And that's going to be, as we know, now I'm putting these in parentheses so it's more clear. You technically don't have to, but it just makes it more clear what you're trying to do. Length times width. Now, I'm not going to bother making a two string. I don't want it right now. And then finally, I'm going to make a class triangle extends figure. Same deal here, but I'm going to have a private a, private int a, b, c. And I already made the mistake of making this public. No, I didn't. I didn't make the constructor, sorry. So triangle is our constructor. We don't need a public modifier. It's not useful to us. Int a, int b, int c. And we're going to super three because we're calling up here that we have three sides. And then this dot a equals a, this dot b equals b, and this dot c equals c. And we're gonna make a public void area. And that's just going to be triangle area. And that's going to be A, whatever the Haran's formula is. So I'm just gonna say, for my time's sake, insert Haran's formula here because I don't remember it off the top of my head. So let's keep going. Now we have a main class to test all of this. Now in Eclipse, for whatever reason, you can't make the main class in this class because it can't quite figure out where 
the class is. It's it's weird. So it's best that you put all of this in one class and then you put your main stuff where you test it in some other class. That usually turns out with the best result. But because I have VS Code and it works okay, I'm just going to make it in here for the purpose of this video. I'm going to go ahead and make our main method. Now, when I create a rectangle, r equals new rectangle, I'm going to pass in 5 and 6, and I'm going to say triangle t equals new triangle 1, 2, 3. Now, when I do um, r dot area and t dot area, it will work as expected. Hold on, why am I getting, not getting there? I don't know why it's telling me that. Okay, so when I run it, oh, I need to say, sorry, I need to add a package declaration. That's that's nothing to worry about. Package, and I meant teaching, so I need to add teaching. Okay, so when I go for it, it's going to go ahead and say rectangle area and insert a runs formula here. So it's calling the appropriate area methods. Now, I have no need to define it in figure, so what I can do is I can just say, well, anyone that extends me has to use, anyone that extends me has to be able to implement area in some way. I don't care how, but it has to be implemented. But whenever we make something abstract in our class, we have to have, we have to note that it's abstract. So when we run it, it will work. Okay, because abstract void area, we're saying I need you, anyone that extends me, figure, has to imp appropriately implement area, and we do. Here we're implementing area, and here we're, we are too. If we don't, you'll see we'll get an error, and it says we are not implementing the inherited method area. Now, interfaces. Interfaces are literally the same thing as abstract classes. So for instance, if I create, uh, let's say, interface, uh, figure. Now it's going to get confusing, but the point of the matter is we need to, we can only define methods in here that are abstract. Now we don't need the keyword because it's an interface and interfaces know that we're working with abstract methods. So we're okay. And then the other purpose of interfaces is just to declare constants. So final, whatever, int sides, that's fine. And then any, any, anyone that in, implements our figure interface has to use side somehow and has to use area and implement it somehow. So that's it. That's how abstract works. That's how interfaces work. Hope this helps.